This is an example that uses double proportionate measurements to find a lost corner. In this case, um, you can see that the lost corner is actually an intersection of four sections. You can see that we have the closest two corners of this is our section in question. This is maybe the property that is for sale. Now we don't have this corner. This is what's lost. However, the net we have the next quarter corners. We don't have these, but we do have these in the neighboring sections. And we are given a chain length here, here, and the adjoining sections as well. So we do have some evidence, original evidence, of what the proportions between all of these things are supposed to be. Now we don't, we're going to assume that this quarter section corner is in the center of this section line and the same with this one. But we do have coordinates for these. So we are going to, let's label these section, it really doesn't matter. I could have called them Bob and Sheila. Remember math is a language and variables are just names. If it bothers you that three goes with D and four goes with C, we can go ahead and change those. Like I said, variables are just names to show relationships. It really doesn't matter what you call them, as long as you can keep them straight. Because we are given much more evidence, you know, we, we don't have just one line's worth of data, we've got two. And so we're going to use as much of the evidence that we're given as possible. That's what we want to do. We want to follow in the original, if possible, the original surveyor's footsteps. So we're going to make two proportions. And in fact, the north-south line is going to control our change in north. Here is our change in north. That has a proportion of where we're going minus where we were. So let's call this, since it's point number three, we'll call it north three minus, and this is point two, so it's north two. And that is equal to the proportion of these chain lengths. Now again, our change in northing is this B chain's length divided by this B chain again plus the C chain divided by two, because remember, we're only going halfway up there. We're going to the quarter section corner. And likewise, the change in easting will be where we're going, so that's easting four, minus where we started, which was easting number one, and that will equal our A chain divided by the A chain plus, now we're going to assume that this is halfway through that D chain, so the D chain divided by two. So this is actually step one. Just like with single proportionate distances, we, have, we find this change in our northing, but then we need to actually finish the job and create our coordinates for our lost corner. So we're gonna start with the northing of the lost corner equals the northing of our second corner plus the change in northing. And the easting of the lost corner equals where we started, easting one plus the change in easting. Let's put some numbers in this. I'm just gonna make a list. So now we have everything that we need. Now looking here, 
for 1 and 4, we're really only using the easting. So I'm going to go ahead and cross off what we're not using because I just don't want to think about it. Same thing with points 2 and 3. We're only using the northing. So I'm going to ignore the easting because we don't need it for this problem. Now we're using real numbers. Step 1. The change in northing equals our B chains. Remember, we're making a conversion factor here divided by the B chains again plus the C chains divided by 2 times the quantity of the northing for point 3 minus the northing for point 2. Our change in easting will be the A chains divided by the sum of the A chains again plus half of the D chains times the quantity of the easting for point 4 minus the easting for point 1. Now, I can tell we're going to end up with a negative number there. So in step two, we're going to be adding a negative, so we'll be subtracting. That's all right. So let's go ahead and do these calculations. OK, so now I'm going to do my easting the same way. I'm going to start in the deepest part of the problem because I'm just using a simple calculator. And we have a negative. All right, so let's figure out what these are, the change in northing. OK, so that's step one. Now step two is where we actually figure it out. So the northing of our lost corner equals the northing of point 2 plus our change in northing. So our answer is 10,012.26. So you can see we're, we're 12 feet higher further north than we started. So our bearing was not constant. And our easting is going to be the easting for 1 plus our change in easting, which is a negative. And there's our answer. Those are the coordinates of the lost section quarter of section 16.